okay in this assignment uh, we are continuing with the previous setup the only thing that we are going to do is uh, will allowing ec2 instance b to have an internet access that means you can reach to internet from ec2 instance b and as discussed in the lecture for that we need a nat so here we will be using aws managed nat which is called nat gateway so uh, just wanted to reiterate doing this setup we are still we won't be able to directly connect to ec2b over the internet we would have to come to first any instance in a public subnet and from there we'll connect to ec2b instance but from ec2b we should be able to connect to the internet that means you can download any packages you can connect to say you can ping google.com like that so typically this is how the uh, three tier web architecture has like application servers are in a private subnet but they haven't connected to the internet for downloading and installing required packages so this is what we'll be doing now let's get into the execution okay so i'm into my vpc uh, uh, service uh, page and here you see uh, i have my vpc previously created all subnets and the route tables uh, what i'm going to do is go to this nat gateway section so currently i do not have any nat gateway and i'll create a nat gateway we have to select the public subnet for this NAT gateway. So we will see public subnet A. Make sure you use public subnet because NAT needs to talk to the internet and only the things which are inside a public subnet can talk to the internet. And then we will see uh, auto assign a public elastic IP. So NAT also require an public IP or an elastic IP. So if you click this button, it will allocate one new elastic IP and we will say create a NAT gateway. So it just created the NAT gateway. I'm not going to edit this route table. We'll do it manually. So you can just go here and see your NAT gateway. It's pending. So it takes a couple of minutes for this NAT gateways to be up. So let's wait for some time. I'm just pausing this video. Okay. As you can see, the NAT gateway has been created here uh, and it is available. So the next thing we'll be doing is uh, adding this NAT gateway to the route table of the private subnet because we want to route an internet traffic to the net gateway so what we will be doing is go to the route tables and have your private route table name should be private rtb for consistency and uh, what happened And here if you see the routes, it has only local route. So what we are going to do is add another route that's for the internet and we will have route through the NAT, right? So that's an important step and we save it. Now, as soon as you do this, you would expect that the private instance, right? With the IP, this 163, we are already in that instance, right? We should be able to ping Google okay so we are able to connect to the internet so that was this is what typically the assignment was not more than that so if you see now we have this setup i just aborted the connection let's restart so if you see when i restart i'm just getting into the public ec2 instance first and from there i will do ssh to private instance and i can do google.com again here all right so that's it for this assignment we are now able to connect to internet from the instance which is in a private subnet uh, one thing to uh, note that nat gateway is not included in this free tier quota and that's where i would recommend as soon as you're done with this part of the assignment just delete the nat gateway and clear the route table entry so i'm just doing the same thing i'm going into the nat gateway and i will say delete nat gateway so this will start deleting the NAT gateway and don't forget to clear your route table otherwise you will see the black hole there it appears something like let's wait for a couple of seconds so if you go here NAT is still there but let's wait for a couple of seconds okay as you can see here the NAT gateway the status is black hole so that's because this target does not exist anymore so you have to do is go here and clear this uh, black hole entry 
so many times uh, when you will be troubleshooting the things with respect to the network connectivity this is typically a culprit where you have the target uh, defined but it is not really it does not really exist so you would have to come here and see if there are any black hole entries and remove those and you just save it so we are now back to the setup which was like uh, assignment one setup so if you could do this uh, you are good for the assignment two thank you very much